this isn't your typical hero. You know, this isn't someone. This isn't the Arnold Schwarzenegger of uh, you know of, of, of action movies. This is a you know a real life vulnerable person who you know was thrown into the worst circumstances imaginable and had things done so, to him so horrific that you know we couldn't even put them in a film. You know, a lot of it. We only show a very small section of uh, what Eric actually went through. Um, and I think because of that, it's incredibly moving. And you know, I kind of. Uh, yeah, I get, I, don't know, I get quite emotional through that. No, but, um, yeah. I, I don't think one should take an easy position on forgiveness. I think it's, it's it, when something as devastating as this has been done to you, I think it, it's something that's very hard earned, and I think that's hopefully that's that's has been honestly represented here. Well, well, watching the performances between yourself and Colin as well, you, you, your mannerisms are um, so alike and of, I just wondered how much uh, you work together. Colin, my Colin Firth impression, yes, no, quite. Um, no, it's, uh, God, he's going to hate me for that, isn't he? Jeez. Uh, no, you know, it's, uh, it's, you know, we spent a lot of time talking about the voice. Um, Colin was incredibly generous and let me, um, you know, rehearse with him in his living room and stuff, and you know, he didn't have to do. And that was, you know, just, uh, you know, what, you know, I said it's an acting masterclass I couldn't have dreamed of a few years back. So, um, yeah, I don't know. It's, um, you know, there was there was definitely some mannerisms that I wanted to get in there that I wanted just to purely just to smooth over that, the transition back and forth from, uh, you know, Colin to myself. <laughs> Let them know it's going our way. It's, it's, a, it's a really unique take on uh, war. And it's more about the psychological effects and the repercussions of, of the family members and the loved ones and, and then dealing with a personal sense of redemption. You know, and I think you know, that's, that's a unique story and it's a true story. And it's something that you can, you know, if we can all take away uh, the understanding that this man has forgiven, you know, it's, I have a nail that the that was actually came from um, the Death Railway, and I and and you know there was a there was a guy who was helping us, you know, showing us the the ropes. Um, he ran one of the museums there, and he gave me and Jeremy one of these nails, and you know I've got it in my in my room, and I think the weight of that. Of, of that object uh, and all the history behind it um, kind of sunk in for me once I once I received that object and I think that that was a really really powerful moment I think yeah we work together really well you know, because you would think because the subject is very sad and really harsh you know you'd think the set would be a bit more harsh it wasn't it at all we are all sort of very nice and friendly to each other and uh, we chatted a lot like in between, we talked about the subject so much, and you know, it was really fun to do that. Mm -hmm.